Hey guys, it's Future the Texan here, and um, as you can see, I'm playing Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Yes, I know I'm extremely late to this game, but you know what? I found it. I remember using used to watch videos. Uh, I can't English. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. So, I've seen YouTube videos of this a long time ago, I'm like, you know what, whatever. I've never played a Freddy Fazbear's game. Yes, I know. Um, very sorry, I've never played FNAF. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into it. Just tell me to press enter. Design people, you know what, why not? Just put everything on it. Wh why not? And then, just like this, I assume. Alright, how do I shoot? How do I. Ah, here we go. It's shift. So then. I know that they each need three people. I threw an extra one. Three whole pizzas for every kit. Alright. Oh. oh, you're making the game a bit difficult now, aren't ya? Okay, so I think I can like bring him up here. Yeah, because I actually move faster than him. Right. See, actually being able to feed these kids is probably going to be the hardest part of this game. And this this guy, stop it. <laughs> Jeez, yes, I know I'm bad at the game. I think I just need to give him one more peek. Just one. Just one. Come on, Ghost Freddy guy. Just let me have one pizza. Let him have a pizza. Okay, probably shouldn't keep collecting them. Uh, come down here, and then while you're going down, no. This one kid. J just give him his last pizza. Just one pizza. There oh. Okay, apparently he needs another. Stupid kid. Eat your pizza. There we go. Got him. Round four. Here we go, and this is where stuff gets weird. It's been forever since I've played the board top since I've seen this game, though. But yeah, pizza are definitely looking pretty weird. Just gonna... Oh, I was gonna throw more pieces out just randomly. Um, here we go. Oh, I'm probably gonna get so scared during this entire thing. I don't play scary games because I get scared way too easily. I also don't remember anything about this game, to be honest. What do I do? Um just gonna begin tape. Leaving dead space three, two, oh, I don't like this. One. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Baby, you're scaring me. Document results. Begin audio do. prompt in three, two, one. Don't jump at me. 
it's gonna jump at me. I'm gonna look down, I'm gonna look up, it's just gonna be there. It's just jumping at me. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, even the music is scaring me. We are like, it's like Document music. results. I'm just gonna say no. And look up. Begin audio prompt in three. Two. One. There's baby. Baby's voice. She's looking at me. Oh, I don't like this. Is that going to the It's a game? new day. Here we it's go. your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and Safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Oh, Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm smiling now, but I doubt I'll, I will be later. Uh, okay, use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Use the blueprint mode to place items, and add to your floor plan. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> Why did I do this? Oh, look at Let's it. see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Oh man, I can't get Bucket Bob. Or Mr. Can Do. Mr. Hub. Oh, number one crate. Oh, I like these. Okay. You know what? I would get it for one animatronic, but you know what? This works. Whatever. Let's see my restaurant. Oh, uh, this actually looks like 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 an old kind of an old school kind of game. I don't really play those, but you know, sponsorship offer. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay. So then, oh, okay, I see now. I thought things costed more than they did. I was looking down here, thinking that that was the price, but that's that's how much money I have. The price is up here. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna get a liability risk. No, I'm not. That's whoa. Stan's budget tip. Tip. That's English for it. Oh, I like this guy. So I guess I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna go here and, where is it, do I place it, yeah, here we go, go place it there, place it there. risk three, okay, um, I'm just gonna polish and clean it, play test, you know what, why not? I think I should, but I'm gonna go say hi to him in a second. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, he does nothing. Useless! that the thing is gonna happen. Okay, time's up. Okay. I didn't I didn't get the thing that that was gonna happen. It must have to be like really good at it. But, you know, I'm finished. Boom. Um <clears throat> so what happens now? I your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Okay, great. So then... I don't believe that there should be any motion because I don't have any animatronics. 
Oh, what's that? I saw something. Is there anything in these vents? I don't think there is. There might be, but I'm just gonna wait for this, cause why not? Oh, I generally oh just my supplies. Turn off that for a minute. Okay. Um. Okay, the bordering plates. I don't have any animatronics, do I? Now, how in the world would there be something in the vents? Maybe it's a mouse, but knowing these games, it probably isn't. Okay, let me order the napkins and utensils. Oh, I don't like this. I also don't know how to use a flashlight. Is it F? It's probably F. Let me see. Oh, I know, I already have the flashlight, don't I? Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, I don't like that. Hey, buddy, you can go right over there. Thanks you very much. I'm also gonna turn that off for a minute. Print faster, thank you very much. Jeez, go faster. Okay, so I can't go to other things, so I have to literally wait. Oh. I forgot I turned that off. Okay. I'll take a die of a heat stroke in here. Front menus. This is all I gotta do. Finish this. Please finish it. Okay, great. Is that it? Great. Great Welcome. job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Uh, now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Okay. Great. Okay. That... I don't even have Congratulations any. on completing your first day. However, Thanks. your job isn't over just yet. Darn. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. Oh, great. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean oh, a much needed up. revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. 
If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before mm -hmm. claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can... Okay, all yours can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Um, yeah, I don't trust him. It is 500 though. Nope, throw it back out. Nope. Don't no, forget no. Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. What? That Freddy over there, that little, that little baby Freddy, I don't know what it's called, but he, he, he just makes this game seem so, so good and happy, but it's not, it's really not, well, why not, that motorist, I keep forgetting how to move around, polish it, I can add a coin slot. Didn't even realize that. Alright, I'm gonna play test it. the door. Yeah, I told you not to close the door. This is my house. You can't ignore me like that. Okay, I can't go out. 
Do I need to do it again? Open the door. What if the kid doesn't want to open the door? I'll find a way in outside. Yep. Man, this house is way bigger on the outside. Oh no, a broken window. Right off to that place again. He will be sorry when he gets back. Yep. Whoa. Money. Okay, I'm gonna add a coin slot to these. Can I add one to this one too? Yes, I can. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't wanna. Uh, I don't wanna start the next day. You know what? I, I will, but not now. Um. Oh, there we go. Um. <clears throat> thank, thank you all for. Do, do I have to? He's gonna give me really loud. Oh, whatever. Gives me money. Anyway. Um. Thank you all for watching. Um. In the next video, I'll do another. I'm actually just gonna start it directly after this, cause you know what? Why not? Anyway, um, I'll see you all in the next video, um, futuristic over and out.